What's up you guys? It's Raya. Welcome back to another video. I'm actually getting re ready right now to go to work. I wanted to share with you guys a little story time about how I actually became a stripper and let you guys kind of know, you know, like my little experience. It's kind of how I started and how it got to be. But um, yeah, I already got my eyebrows done. That's why my eyes are looking a little light underneath. I got um, concealer on. My face pretty much moisturized. So I want to take you guys back to like probably like the end of 2020, um, and that was like tw that was like the first year that we had like the whole year of the pandemic or whatever. And as you guys know, that was like a, a rough year as far as being you know isolated from everyone, people dying everywhere. It was just like a lot of like stress going on that year i also was on unemployment and unemployment was like kind of was running out and before that i did work one job which was at panda express ever since i worked at that panda express job and i quit that job i just knew that like a regular nine to five type of job was not for me and like as much as I was getting paid um I wasn't gonna be able to move out on my own you know what I'm saying I was just like working hard you know losing time spending with Mila because you know I'm having to work during the day and I just like overall just like didn't like it and then the pandemic hit and I got on unemployment that year and you know it was up you know i was happy like I, if you guys got an unemployment during the pandemic you know it was up it was like 700 dollars a week you know i love that especially you know i didn't have to pay any bills i still lived at home didn't have the freedom that i wanted and so i was just like you know what i'm going to move out and i knew that the pandemic money was going to um stop soon so obviously i was like okay i need to get like another source of income obviously and something that's gonna match up to this so I'm able to move out like I wanted to and you know still be able to spend how I wanted to and you know be able to buy everything for Mila you know and just still be very comfortable and live on my own I just like knew I did not want to work a regular nine to five like you know, I've worked in 9 to 5, like I said, and just, like, was not for me. Personally, didn't want to just be working and, like, working extra, like, extra hard so I'm going to be able to pay my rent, you know? And I didn't want to work, like, a warehouse type of job. Thinking about, like, dang, what if I just, like, became a stripper? I was thinking, like, I'm going to be able to stay home with Mila and, you know, just, like, have a babysitter for her. At night while she's sleeping I started looking up YouTube videos on like you know how to become a stripper club footage like you know I would watch all those videos on YouTube and then I had my roommate she was stripping before so obviously you know I was able to ask her you know questions about stuff learn from people on YouTube so I kind of was just like okay like I got this At the end of the year of 2020 I got my dancers license and then you know it started from there I went out to go buy shoes and I was like okay like it's really happening like I'm really about to be a stripper I would have never seen it coming that I was also in college too so I was like having classes and so I was just thinking about like oh my gosh like school being a mom and working a nine-to-five I was very like insecure was, like okay I felt pretty but I don't feel like I don't feel like sexy like you know what I'm saying like I didn't ever I didn't feel like that at the time I was just like you know like I could not really see that for myself but that's crazy how like things really change <laughs> For my first day, I was like, okay, like, you know, I'm just gonna go. And at the time, my roommate, her other friend, was been a dancer for, like, years. Like, longer than her, you know, she helped her become a dancer, too. And she was like, oh, I'm trying to go to a new club. So we ended up going to, like, a couple different clubs. And we weren't able to audition to them. So we ended up going to her club that she worked at, which was, like, like a pure, like, Latin club. Just like all Hispanics, you know, just bond the music. Just like very, very out of my comfort zone. 
and it was like my first day too and it was just like a really small place and it literally only had like one stage and I was the only black person in the building like I didn't see no mix so I felt automatically like already like okay like people are already watching me so I was like okay like you know what I'm just gonna make the best out of it and I was freaking when I tell you girl I was nervous I was literally shaking in my boots. I was like, I cannot believe that I am here right now. So it was my turn to get on stage first. I was terrified. When I tell you I was terrified, I literally did not let go of that pole one time. I was like, I was like my name. I was like, I went on stage. I was like, <laughs> I just held onto the pole and just like would twerk a little bit. Just walked around and did the same thing over and over again. Like. I was terrified. I was like, this is just like, you know, like I'm not good at it. And I think I made like $75, like something like super like little. And I was just like, this cannot be how the stripper life is. Like, this is not what I'm expecting. Like, I'm scared. Like, I'm literally scared. Like, I can't. Like, I don't think I could do this again. You know, something inside of me was just like, okay, girl, like, don't give up, you know. People were telling me, like, my friends were like, Lee, like, you know, it's your first day. See, I went back there, like, for one more day, like, by myself, just, like, to get one more practice round in. And I probably went for another, like, hour or two, and I was like, okay, I'm out of here. Like, I am out. I'm going to have to work somewhere else. But, like, where am I going to work? Like, I don't know. My roommate was like, oh, you should try this one club out here that it's like really popular like one of like the most popular clubs out here in phoenix and i was like ooh, like i don't know like you know i don't know about it but just like you know what i'll just try it so i just dm the manager and was like hey you know i want to come in and works it was during the pandemic they're like okay like we're starting to open day shift back up so you could come and you know start working day shift so i met with the day shift manager i started working at the club and i was just like so excited to be there because like i didn't know how big like the club was like you know how popular the club was until like i started working there i would just go to day shift like it was really terrible like sometimes it'd be like nobody going to day shift at all and like i would probably like for a while i was like breaking like 150 like that was what i'd make but you know what i was just like you know still you know happy because I was like starting on so like compared to what was there you know I was making the money I remember this one day shift when I was working and then this customer I had came in and it was really like slow during the day shift and he had like all of us day shift girls because there was nobody in there he had us all get on stage and just like flooded the stage and I was just like I cannot believe that and that night I think I made like 980 or something that day shift and I was like oh this is where it's at finally like you know I finally made a little bag finally so I was just like ecstatic and I was just like okay yes like I'm so ready like I'm happy like so I went hard you know and then I worked started working night shift boom it was history I loved it and then that's when everything when I started working night shift like changed I was able to finally like move out how I wanted like wow you know, like, while I'm in school and, you know, figuring it out, you know, all my investments that I'm going to make and my business moves, like, this is what I'm going to be doing for now. Once, like, I was making, like, frequent bags, you know, like, every week I was, like, you know, every girl out there, like, that, you know, is morally feels, like, right with doing it, I'm, like, please try it. I definitely think, you know, obviously if you're going to be dancing that you should have, like, goals to plan you know that you want to like follow and not just like be like okay like stripping is gonna be my whole life because you know obviously being a stripper has an expiration date if you are like a girl no matter what size shape and you feel like you know comfortable with it like do it like i even know like girls that are nurses like and stuff and still um and still you know like dance on top of their like, you know pay because it's just like that good and it's just like so easy you know what i'm saying first month i started dancing i saved up enough money to move out into my own place and me and my roommate were able to get our own place and i was just like ah like so happy because you know i just wanted to be like independent like and i wanted me and mila you know have her own space i hardly ever had had like a bad experience like 
at my club. That's why I feel like finding the right club is like very important. Like finding a club that you like really like and you know you like the vibe and like the management is very like important. Let me go really quick and do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I ended up just doing a cute little braid and I'm ready for the night. I want to end this video off by saying, you know, like, I have learned, like, so much being a dancer, like, over this last year. And I feel like I've grown so much as a person. Like, with just having so much confidence and, like, really knowing my worth and just, like, really wanting to level up, you know, in life. It's kind of, you know, helped me you know, break through from you know me being so like insecure and just like doubtful i hope you guys enjoyed this story time get ready with me video and stay tuned for more videos don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below and don't forget to follow me on instagram let me go let me spray some perfume and i'm gonna be spraying this alt fragrance perfume in crystal number 23 this smells so bomb it literally smells like baccarat like exactly like it to forty dollars like very inexpensive compared to like baccarat the three hundred dollar bottle and i actually have a ten percent off discount code down below so go check that out if you want to be a baddie on it budget and have rich bitch energy go and click that link down below and get yours today for ten percent off but Yes, I'm going to see you guys on the next video. And thank you guys so much for watching.